Hey, welcome back to the vlog. Today's five minute book review is on Mama Day written by Gloria Naylor in 1988. Let's get into this thing. So the Day family that were descendants of slaves were set free in 1823. And their master, Bascombe Wades, when he died, he deeded them his, all of his holdings, which included a private island that was off the coast of South Carolina and Georgia called Willow Springs. And like the beginning of the island and like how everything started out is like hidden by like history and like, like mystery and things like that. But what the book is expressing and like what the book really strongly pushes on you is Mama Day is the mama. She's the matriarch of the island. She, was, she is what keeps the heritage alive and her only living relative is her sister Abigail, who has a granddaughter named Coco. And Coco is one of the main characters in the book. Her name is also, like her name, they call her Coco, but her real name's Ophelia. But she's the one that's like, I wanna get out of this island, you know, wants to explore the world. So she goes to New York. So Ophelia, AKA Coco, goes to New York. And she just so happens to be in a coffee shop and George sees her. George is a new character that comes up and he sees her and is fascinated by her. Doesn't talk to her. He's just like, she's nice looking. And she, he oddly recognizes the hair on her neck, which is a thing that, you know, I was like, hmm. but so he sees the hair on her neck and she's, he's like, but he doesn't do anything. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna shoot my shot. It's fine. So George and Ophelia officially met when Ophelia wanted a job and she went to a job interview and George was the interviewer. Then long story short, they got married. So I'm not gonna spoil the rest of the book for you or anything like that. I just wanted to give you a little spill of what the book was about and sort of introduce some of the characters in it. So when I talk about the things that I like and the things that I didn't really particularly like, you would sort of understand and could put two to two together. One of the many things that I really liked that Gloria Naylor did in her book is how she portrayed her characters. Her characters were, were so well portrayed that the reader would feel how they felt, knew their thoughts and really got a sense for the character. For example, um, George, it states that he was an orphan and that he even stated that he never really would hope for anything. Like he never hoped to make the team. He never hoped for a family because he never has gotten that. Like he's never gotten like one thing that went his way or how he wanted it. So he would never hope for much. He never knew the love of a family and that portray like the care the reader can put the two and two together that George couldn't give the love that Coco Ophelia wanted because he's never gotten that love he didn't know how to give her something that he's never experienced himself and that's where Ophelia didn't know how to respond to that because of the differences and how different their how different their lives were growing up you would have asked me if Mama Day had to do with voodoo and a private island and like putting curses on people and it I'm not gonna go into it but I mean super into it but I just wanted to show that like this book when Miss Litt says scuba diving it it is at the bottom of the ocean floor of how deep you can get into this book the common themes of family and the symbols they use in the book, if you read it, or like if you're interested in the book at all, uh, Gloria Naylor gives a illustration of the map. Wait, I'll put a picture of it here. This is the image of the map. It shows the South Carolina and the Georgia, and it shows the bridge but, connecting and it the mainland to Willow Springs. And the bridge symbolizes the rational world and the mystical world of the two and compares them and it just shows that connection 
of that bridge that one's on this side and one's on the other side and that bridge is Willow Springs. So if I was asked if I would recommend this to someone to read or if I enjoyed this book, I would definitely say yes, I would recommend it and yes, I enjoyed the book. Uh, the book is not one of those books that you can predict. Like boring books for me are not the thing. I It's like the Hallmark movies that you can predict what's gonna happen the first five seconds of reading it. But this book, it's not what I expected it to be when I like was given this book to do the assignment on. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not all the twists and turns that the book ended up having. The one negative thing for me about the book, it's not, I think it's more of a personal thing or maybe someone can relate to it or something like that, is I had to have an audiobook for it. And that's only because Gloria Naylor like really envisioned the character like so much so that the characterization was the text was even written like back like how they would talk and some of the words they used and some of the phrases they used weren't really like super comprehensible for me like I would read it and then I'd say what did I just read but the audiobook really invoiced the voice that Gloria Naylor was trying to express and like would use different voices for different characters and things like that. So if I had to rate the book on how much I liked it 1 to 10, I would rate it a 9.5. The half point only being because some of the book was sort of hard to comprehend and that could have been just because of my lack of knowledge or like comprehensibility, if that's a word. But um, yeah, I, re I really, really enjoyed this book and if you're like if you're a reader and you haven't read this book before, I would read it. It's really good. It has a lot of twists and turns that you would never expect. And I'm not really, I could go into it, but I don't want to ruin it for you. But yeah, so I would, I'd write, I'd write it a nine and a half. Okay, guys, that was my first and last ever five minute book review on Mama Day by Gloria Naylor. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you took something away from it and didn't cringe too much. But I really genuinely enjoyed this book and and I hope like maybe you're interested in it and yeah, it's a really good read and I hope y'all have a great day.